When I discovered in 2011 that this river, the Port of Brook, had been culverted or buried underground, I thought we should do something about it. I started a project to open up and restore the river back into more natural conditions. This is one of the first deculverting or daylighting projects completed in the UK. What you can see here is the section of about 500 metres where we took the river out of a stone chamber that had been constructed in order to make a stone track to take material from the quarry. We opened it up, created a more sinuous form and directed the river flow into the natural channel. We then planted around 100 Quercus petraea oaks and a similar number of silver birch, Bachelor pendula. Over the years, we've been able to come back and take fixed point photography to see how the restoration projects changed over the years and how the nature's developed. So we didn't plant any herbaceous perennials or ferns to redophytes. All of that has happened naturally. It's created extremely important habitat for invertebrates, for birds, but also for small mammals as well. At this very kind of iconic location on the edge of the Peak District, it really adds a lot of value for people walking from the city to the countryside. As well as undertaking research into nature-based solutions and water in cities, I'm responsible in the department for teaching students about stewardship and management of natural vegetation. And it's a really delightful part of my role to work with students to help them to understand how the actions that we take to manage the landscape are so critical in affecting the benefits and the kind of services that nature can bring in our cities.